So hey guys, this is the first ever, or welcome to the first ever TMF vlog. So basically what I'm gonna start doing in this, it, it won't be anything like my style videos or what you're used to seeing. It's, it's gonna be more informal. So I think that'll be good. It's not gonna be as professional and but it, it, it'll still be style infused in some aspects because my life revolves around style. I am a style blogger and own a style brand. So you'll see a lot of the back end aspects of that. You'll also see that I'm a college student. So the idea is I'm gonna do like three to five videos. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how I like it. We'll see how you guys like it. And from there, I'll decide if I'll keep them or not. Uh, one thing that I think will be kind of beneficial is that you'll also see what I wear on a daily basis. You know, like for example, today what I'm, I'm going to do a quick outfit check. Like today I'm wearing just a simple Gap Henley t-shirt. I'm wearing this uh, blacked out. It's a very cheap, affordable watch. It's nothing fancy at all. I think it's probably even cheaper than Daniel Wellington. This one's a Barba Sakari. I was supposed to review these guys. I haven't gotten around to it, but you know, that's what I'm wearing on the wrist. And then down low, I'm wearing just some simple high top Converse. I actually use these quite often. It's just, I don't know. They're very comfortable actually. So I, I tend to use these a lot. And uh, this lighting, I think I'm gonna have to move you guys because this lighting is pretty sucky. So let me, by the way, what I'm working on actually is uh, my presentation for StyleCon and also working on another video for you guys. Okay, so uh, I can't get you guys mounted here. Perfect. <clears throat> so that's basically my setup and a cool thing about this vlog will be that I'm actually working on actually getting an office. So that's something else. If it's within the time frame of the five videos, I'll bring you along. Another cool thing that I think you might like, guys like is that like I already showed you, I'm actually working on my StyleCon because I'm going to be speaking at StyleCon. So I'm working on basically just a couple notes, what I'm going to be talking about, presenting to everybody there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to bring you along and vlog the whole event. Day one, day two, day three. You're going to meet you know, all the bloggers there, Antonio, uh, Aaron, and then all the other bloggers. And I'm going to probably try to vlog that as well and bring you guys along. So that'll probably be the five videos wrapped up there. And we'll see how you guys like it. If you like it, I'll keep doing them. If you don't, I'll stop. But the idea is you see a, a broader picture of basically what my life is like and what I do and stuff like that. So for today, I just wanted to do a very simple q and A. I I got a lot of email questions, but I think I'm just gonna go with the questions on my YouTube page. Uh, it'll just be easier this way. And I don't wanna do like a long video, just a bunch of questions on myself. And I'll then at the end, I think I'll give you like 10 fun facts about me and what I like. So the first question is, this one was pretty popular. Uh, it said, you said you're a college student. What do other students, girls and boys say about your clothes? Great video as always and keep going. So, well, one major misconception that a lot of people have is that for some reason that I walk around in custom suits all the time. I don't. Uh, I'm actually, what you see me wear right now is probably what I would wear to college. If I'm feeling like I really want to dress up, I'll probably use chinos and a, a nice uh, casual button down. And that's because, like I've mentioned before, you want your clothes to function with you. And a suit, in reality, is not functioning with you at a school campus. It's not helping you at all. It's not presenting you any better than it should to your peers, if that makes sense. I think everything has its its place and I don't think a custom suit really belongs in a school setting. All right, so let's keep going. What's your job besides YouTube? Well, YouTube is my job. Um, I used to work in an office, but in the beginning of this year, I actually stopped working and I just dedicated my whole time to TMF and Estonia because I don't think, and this is something that a lot of people don't, I, I don't think people perceive. Unless you're actually, a, you know, you've ever content created or made a YouTube, you, you wouldn't know how much time and effort goes into just making one video which and that's why it kind of sucks also when you get like you know those like troll comments on, on on your videos and why I hate when I see it on other people's videos because I know how much effort and work goes behind each video and while you know construct I love con it's not that I love constructive cr criticism but I accept constructive criticism because that's what builds us up but when you get trolls or haters just writing like nonsense on on, on your on, on stuff you took you know your pride and joy to create it sucks you know and it sucks when people do it to other people and that's one of the biggest reasons why i stopped working because this in itself 
takes a lot of work. I don't think you, I think just so you guys understand, one video, just editing, it's about three hours, about two, three hours uh, to produce the whole video, which is content creating, thinking about what I'm gonna talk about, what, what how I'm gonna uh, bring this to you guys to make it simpler, to make it fun. Uh, and then on top of that, photography, uh, filming, in total, like if I were to condense everything, probably one video is a day to two days work of full work. So for me to bring more videos, and then on top of that, you have to add, you know, articles, uh, keeping up with social media, all this stuff takes up so much time, you have no idea. And it's, uh, I don't think people under really understand how, how much time it takes. Like, even now that I'm not working, I still don't have enough time and I work weekends still. So that's one big thing why I stopped working. Um, another reason is SNE. So not only have a blog, I have a brand that I'm trying to build. So both of those, you know, it's it's almost impossible to do that with a full time job. So that's why I stopped working, and why I'm currently, like I said, looking for an office. You know, so I can work and do everything. Um, well, this guy gave me a whole list. Let's see. All right. How was your life growing up? It was pretty good. I'm a family guy. Always been. I think it, it comes with the with the culture. Um, I had a pretty cool childhood. Uh, what inspired you to start a YouTube channel teaching men's fashion? I think I've said this before, but it really, it, it was an accident. We started with my brother. I did an Instagram account, started posting tips, thought it was going to be fun. Uh, it grew, so we thought, why not create a website? Why not? And then after that, why not create a YouTube channel? And then here we are today, four years later. Um, what keeps you motivated? Honestly, the emails that I get. I get so many emails from guys saying that. I've actually helped them in you know some way shape or form and just that in itself I think it, it, it's uh, it's almost rewarding you knowing you know that we're helping each other and not only I'm helping people but people help me back like I said you know constructive criticism some people actually care believe it or not I've gotten email saying you know if there's any way I can help you know and they you know say oh you're doing this this is this wrong but I can help this way so I think the fact the family type of thing that's been been built is probably one of the best things that and best reasons why I keep doing this all right so it's a this guy asked um, how did you bring yourself to do the first video because we all know it's kind of hard to do that first step is the hardest and this leap you made is no small one because you have been trying to help men which is super awesome all right, so the question basically is what brought me to do the first video or the courage? For this one, I, I don't think I had a courage. I think I just had to do it. The only motivation that I had really was seeing the feedback that I got from my Instagram when I had created it. And I was like, well, if it's this good on Instagram, how much better would be with a video? You know, if pictures are this impactful, how much more would a video be? Believe it or not, that same feeling, because you, you do get nervous, it's like, you're talking to a camera but you also know that I'm behind this camera I'm reaching all of you guys back there you know so it is the first time I did it which I had I didn't even have that much of a following it was nerve-wracking I didn't even know what I was doing I was probably sweating more than I was talking and in some odd way right now that I'm doing this sort of vlog which is completely different of what I do I still have like some reminiscent feeling of what I had the first time I made that video so that's pretty crazy but like I mean it's not as, as impactful because I'm more used to you guys and you know, I've talked to you guys so much but it's still kind of like that feeling I don't know if that makes sense so that's pretty much it I think it was like I said the idea that I was impacting people so all right this is the last one guys I think I made this video way too long um, this guy is what's your height I'm 6'1 that's basically it. I don't want to keep do, uh, keep doing this video because it's going to take way too much time. I think you've gotten a lot to know about me. If anything, I'm going to give you five quick fun facts about me. All right. Things that I love. I love firearms. I think that's something a lot of people don't know. And for some reason, it's like a taboo subject as if it's like, oh, no, firearms or like terrorists or stuff like that. But... If you guys ever get into that hobby, or if I know that I know I've had you know viewers that are into that hobby, uh, it, it's actually such a cool family that 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 uh, firearm family, like in forums and stuff. Everybody's so nice and stuff, uh, and it's really just a sport. Going out to the shooting range, trying out new firearms that you've never tried before. 
So that's something I love. Sport clay shooting. You low, you'll probably if I have a weekend off, I'm probably in the range somehow. Uh, tip second thing. My favorite car, I love trucks. I don't know what car it would be, but it'll probably be a Chevrolet or a GMC. My favorite article of clothing. Suits is my favorite one, but my favorite, favorite article that I own is actually a old pair of jeans. Let me see if I can get it. Okay, check these out. This is actually my favorite pair. So I own like three pairs of raw denim, and I love raw denim, by the way. And I'm planning on doing a video on this to show you why I like it. But uh, this is my favorite pair. This is, I would say this pair is like three years old but the thing about this pair is that I use it for literally everything uh, there was a period where I was doing my own oil changes I wanted to learn how to do an oil change so I was learning I use these to do them in. Uh, when I go out and play with my dog in my backyard I use these and these they get like pretty bad grass stains to you know and I'm wearing these I'll, I wouldn't mind doing that like I get these so dirty I wear these almost everywhere and like and not only have they formed my body, it's kind of like they have so much character built up. I love them. So, these are my favorite jeans. My favorite thing to do? Um, well, I already mentioned, I, I, I love firearms, but I think also learning about menswear. I would say that's probably one of my favorite things. Learning new things, you know, how, how to incorporate it, how to style different things. I like that. And one thing I don't like about myself, Actually, two things. One thing is that I look more cocky than what I really am. So I've, I've heard people actually say before that I'm really cocky or I look cocky in my videos, but I'm actually not. I'm actually a pretty shy guy. So that's something a lot of people don't know, but I'm actually shyer than what I look. And I'm not cocky. I think I'm, well, I, at least I try to be as humble as I can, but I'm not cocky at all. And that's one thing I hate about myself. I'm trying to change that. I don't know how to. And then the second thing is, I have a problem with social media, and I have men's way to thank for that, because I'm always constantly checking and updating all my accounts. I have like five or six accounts, and then once I'm done updating, I end up getting caught on something else and caught on something else, and I just spent you know 30 minutes, hour, whatever it may be, on social media that I could have used for something way more productive. So those are the two things I hate about myself that I need to fix. So that's it. F five facts about me. Q&A about me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I mentioned, more of these. I'll probably have another vlog by next week regarding, you know, StyleCon and all of this. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time.